So everybody's asking me what it's like going to school downtown. It's pretty legit. Check it out. So yeah, that's what it's like going downtown. There's always something going on here. You obviously have like the huge buildings. There's always somebody around. I'm in like a where area where no one really walks through a lot, so that's why I have my phone out and I'm like vlogging. But I got my coffee. About to start my day. Let's go. Alright guys, so I went to go pick up Lola. She is completely shaved, which I already knew was going to happen. Oh, your highness, I'm sure it's not that noticeable. But she looks so much happier. Anyways, enough of the talking. Let's check her out. Lola! Lola! Bald! 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 Oh! Yeah, so she's completely potty trained and she knows when to go when outside when we're outside. But the people I was talking to at the groomer said she looks like a terrier or something. Sunday we're supposed to go and get a her like one of the the like a vet comes to one of the pet stores that we go to and apparently they do like they, they check for like microchips and they do vaccinations and stuff like that. So I'm going to get her checked out, see if she has a chip. And if she does have a chip, then we can just call up her parents and be like, hey, yo, we have your dog. And that will be the best story ever. But as of right now, step one is complete. She's completely shaved. No more mats. Um, you know, I'll be able to leave her out in the, the, the house. She can play with Aspen. I don't have to worry about him getting fleas. Um, and yeah, she just seems so much happier. It's amazing of, you know, what a haircut can do to a dog that is like completely matted. What's up guys? So today's vlog is coming from Colin's camera. So if you guys see like a little jump in quality, that's why. You're probably wondering why my hair is all bunk and we're outside so we are camping for um, Labor Day weekend we got um, Aspen over here he's laying there we got our tent over there radio a little campfire right here and then all the boys have the Eno set up last night it was pretty crazy. We got in super, super late. It was like eight o'clock whenever we got in, set up the tent. Um, so it was a little rough to get everything up. That's why you see everything's still in like boxes and stuff. And so my dad forgot pretty much everything. Like when we go camping, we call it glamping because we have like AC, we have fans, we have everything. So yeah, so we for they forgot everything, so they're heading back home. It's only like 30 minutes away. We're over at Lake Lanier. Me and Aspen, we went down to the water. It wasn't that clean. This is day, full day one. And really day two, because we came in last night, but it's all right. I'll check in with you guys tomorrow, or hopefully if we get another fire going, then I will post it I'll post it on the uh, the video can you see what's up oh I gotta turn the music now what's up guys so today is Sunday and mom is making some gross looking scrambled eggs because she didn't clean the pan out and it's not melting the way she thinks it is really? so yeah it's gonna be really gross but it's okay because I already ate my bacon well what the? What the heck are you doing? Oh my goodness. You saw 
Aspen's in the the hammock. Um, so I got some bad news, and I really, really, really didn't want to. I wonder if you guys can probably hear the music. Let me go away from the music. I went to the vet today and Lola doesn't have a chip. So that means that I can't give her to her owners. So it looks like I'm gonna have another dog for at least a little longer than I expected because she doesn't have a chip so I can't bring her to her owners or call her owners and I don't want to just give her to a shelter because shelters like it's not the best place for dogs so I'll probably take care of her for a little longer until I can find like somebody that would want to take her or I mean she's a good dog so it's like it's not an issue that it's not an issue that I do have her it's just it's too much with two dogs plus I work and go to school so I want to make sure that I have like give them all enough attention that they deserve and Aspen requires a lot of attention so yeah for the moment I'm watching her I'm taking care of her I love her like she needs to but I'm gonna have to find a home for her a permanent home but yeah so that was the news Today's Sunday, we went to the uh, lake again, Aspen went in the water again, this time he got on a float so it wasn't as bad, he kind of was able to um, be out on the water longer and I didn't have to worry about him getting tired, I really should get a life vest for him, it sounds stupid but dogs do get tired too just like humans and they actually can't just float they actually have to like continuously paddle but yeah so that's that but it sucks i was kind of bummed that i couldn't find her a home and you know at least bring her back to her parents like i expected but hey i mean i kind of we kind of went into this expecting that it was going to be not the best news because she just didn't have anything to identify her so someone probably dropped her off or you know just let her out and she's been roaming around for a long long time but yeah at least now she has a haircut she's clean um, and we finally do know like there's no one out there for her at the moment but things will be good we're probably we're debating on wrapping up tonight which I don't think we are because it's already so late so we'll probably just stay here eat some uh, Korean barbecue and uh, yeah that's that hey dude